Inside the walls of the Craig Anna Grace Academy of the Arts, the lessons around black history take on many lives. We had a week, Black History Week, that's when everything was infused, right? And during that week, and now we have a month, but it's, not, it's no longer a month. It's, it's every day now. The lessons in this classroom set to the beat of a drum. We was playing and we was playing different cultures. We was playing Latin, we was playing like African drums, we was doing this and that. And by the end of the class, I didn't want to leave. We teach the children di different disciplines of uh, African drumming, uh, using djembe drums, using kunga drums, all drums originated in Africa. Lance Kamau James is a music teacher at the middle school with a focus on African drumming and world drumming. And they're learning how to communicate with each other in, in a community. So we set the drums up in a circle. Every day we, we do a song called Funga Alafia, Ashe Ashe, which means welcome, we come in peace. Upstairs in the visual arts room, the lessons by Dylan Friedman are just as hands-on and a little more colorful. We infuse black history into some of our lessons. Um, this time around, we actually had Mr. Kimau who told us about the Amistad project and we did a little research on a famous black ship captain. And so we looked up William Shorey is his name. He was born in 1859, and we thought he was interesting. He was a whaler. Um, so he had the first all-black crew, um, whaling crew, in um, the Caribbean. So it was really neat. We liked him, and so we painted him. Each stroke painting the bigger picture. It teaches us that everybody is equal here and about what happened in the past and that people are still fighting for, for their rights. Bringing to life the stories that have rarely been told in history class. It is a lot, there is a lot, because you know, you, there's a lot of things you have to correct that we're correcting as we go along, because history was written by the people who created the history, basically, right? So it's their history. So now we're saying, well, that didn't happen like that. Here's how it really happened. That's a mission shared at the state level as well. Public Act 19-12 made Connecticut the first state in the nation to require all high schools offer an elective course on African American, Black, Puerto Rican, and Latino studies. High schools had the option to offer the course this year, but must offer it starting next school year. We had some national reviewers and we got some great feedback. Um, the way it is, well, first off, it has to be taught by a social studies teacher. Okay, um, because we, it, at base, it's a, it's a history course. A history course that digs deeper. In the first semester, they're talking about African kingdoms that they never knew that even existed. So this is, to me, the fascinating and very important thing is, you know, kids have had, in many cases, U.S. history, but this specific approach to U.S. history and angle to U.S. history is very new for kids and quite honestly, for some teachers. Why is it important? Identity matters. To see yourself in a curriculum, it's important to see yourself in history. And seeing that reflection has schools doing their own reflections. And I think that also served as um, sort of a catalyst for us to see what is missing in our regular U.S. history. Ensuring the beat goes on every day. Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.